Hey, what's hey, going got on, everybody? Hooked. Welcome to Cinema Recap. Thanks for joining us. Today, we're going to be... Okay. Um, welcome back to part two. Uh, we're in survival. The movie opens up at a park in Seoul in the middle of the night. A little girl is looking for her doll when suddenly she sees a giant monster walking through the buildings. The girl screams as that screen fades to black. 25 years have passed, and we're across the world in... Oh, yeah, I forgot I was mining. Where's my dog at? Doggy! Her boyfriend, Sam, is fed up with her behavior. Ever since she got fired at work, all Gloria does is party all night and lays around on the couch during the day. Let's make you sit down for a second. Where all her things are already received away. Sam balances after telling her that she better be gone by the time he returns. So with no job, no apartment, and no boyfriend, Gloria is forced to return to her childhood home in a small town. The place is seemingly abandoned. There's no furniture. So Gloria is forced to sleep on the floor for the first night. Now the next morning, she heads out to buy some furniture. Hey, I'm not in room. Yes, sir. Alright, I think this is enough store. Okay. She tells him it's a nervous tick. Now that night, Oscar introduces her to some of his friends. He places a beer in front of her and after agonizing over it for about two seconds, she casually takes a sip. A few hours later, and predictably, Gloria is drunk. There we go. Gloria would always win the short story writing competition. That's always with this creepy music whenever I'm in a cave. Bro. Oscar goes and gets another. Yeah, where'd I put my crafting table? My crafting table at is it? Gloria still tipsy has to lug her air mattress back home. On the way she drags it through her isn't my crafting table right here. Now she manages to make it home by mid morning okay. and begins unpacking the air mattress when she goes um, home. As she's sleeping, she dreams of herself as a child, wandering through a forest as the sky. Oh, wait, I need steaks. She wakes up to a phone call from her sister. She tells her that the city of Seoul suffered a monster attack in the night. Gloria quickly pulls up the news articles on her laptop, and sure enough, there's footage of a giant monster materializing in Seoul. She calls Tim, who questions her as to why she's just now young. Another pickaxe! The attack happened nine hours ago. She tries to evade the question, but Tim figures out that it's because she was drinking all night and begs her to seek a professional help for alcoholism. Now that night, Gloria's out drinking again while watching the news footage of Soul's attack. She stumbles out of the bar late at night and ends up falling asleep on a bench at the elementary school playground. Bruh. Still drunk. She tries to call Tim as she stands, but he quickly notices that she's intoxicated and hangs up. So frustrated, she flings her phone at the ground. Back at home, Oscar brings her an old TV. Together, they drag it into an empty living room. Okay, and got some nice stuff now. Last night. But and I can't see. Like the previous night, it just stood in one place and made weird hand gestures. The monster always materializes at the same time. 8.05 a.m. Oscar shows her a video on the internet of the monster's first appearance 25 years ago in Seoul. Back then, it was just one sighting and assumed to be a hoax. So while setting up the TV, Oscar asks her if she remembers anything they spoke about last night, and she replies that she doesn't. We find Yo, out that Gloria tells Oscar standing. about her bad situation, as well as her bad ah. with Tim. Furthermore, Oscar we offered go. her a job at the bar while she's in town. With the news of the monster, more and more people are at the bar every night to drink. Gloria accepts it and hugs Oscar for being so kind to her. And as they hug, she notices the monster on the TV scratching its head the same way that she does when she's nervous. So that night while working at the bar, Gloria can't help but notice that the monster footage replaying on the bar's TV makes it look like as if it was on the phone, just like she was. Hold on, guys. 
Oh, yeah. Alright, so... <laughs> okay, back to work. So, what I'm gonna do is make a little XP farm. Sure enough, the creature has made another appearance in Seoul. This time, it didn't destroy any buildings. It just stood there and raised its arms over its head, just like Gloria did. Now that she's sure that somehow she's the monster that's been terrorizing Seoul, she calls up Tim. They exchange pleasantries with Gloria telling him that she's found a part of the but their conversation is interrupted when the doorbell rings. Gloria forgets that she's on a call with Tim as Oscar and his friend Garth drag a sofa and informing her that it's time for work. Now that the work that Gloria, Oscar, and his friends are drinking when Gloria impulsively decides to tell them her newfound secret. She makes the group drive down to the playground and pull out a live feed of soul. Hold on. Must have been when she was okay. walking to the elementary school as um. a kid. Back then, it wasn't a playground, but a construction site with garbage and trees. Realizing this triggers Gloria's flashback, and she remembers her younger self walking to school one day with a project in hand, and a young project. Now the next morning, the two wait on the bench next to the playground. To Yo, where are these monsters at, bro? Oscar confides that he's been following Gloria's career ever since she left town. Now at 8.05, Gloria gets in the playground, which causes that monster to materialize. And she bends down and writes out an apology message in Korean onto the ground, promising that the monster won't return again. So later that night at the bar, the news rewinds the footage of the monster writing in Korean on the ground, and Gloria watches while she works. After closing up, Oscar and his friends with Gloria chat over drinks as usual. Joel's excusing himself to learn about them. As he's washing his hands, Gloria pops in to ask for his home address. Now Joel heads home early, with Gloria arriving shortly after. They spend the night together, and the next morning, just as she's headed home, Gloria sees on the news that the robot monster is in Seoul, telling the business district. Gloria grabs Joel and they quickly drive to the playground, where Oscar's all drunk and walking around there, while watching the live stream of Seoul. Gloria berates him. But Oscar retorts that his monster hasn't killed anyone like hers had. Well, she walks into the playground and points for Oscar to get out. He refuses, so she slaps him. Now that night as they're closing, Oscar is upset. Hold on. Guys, I found more wolves. I, I found more. Uh, I think it's safe to say that we can get out of here now. We survived the entire night. Uh, dude, I swear, frick creeper is here. Whoa, there's a skeleton. Wait a minute. 
a miniature replica of the soul. Gloria followed him into the sun. He found her project, stuck in branches, and pulled it down from where it was caught. Then, assuming that no one was looking, he crushed it. Now, young Gloria, seeing this, is enraged, and her anger seemed to attract lightning to strike her head, causing blood to stream from her forehead. The lightning also strikes Oscar, and they both fall unconscious. He was holding a toy robot, while in her hands was a little twin monster. Both toys look exactly like the monsters that appeared in Soul. Now Gloria realizes that Oscar hates himself. He hates how his life is so small and uninteresting as compared to hers. She tells him Hold on. then proceeds to call Tim. Alarms ring on the TV, and both adults realize that it'll soon be a no, 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 no. Oscar rushes for the door. But Gloria strikes him over the head with a chair. Then he charges at her with a piece of wood torn from the couch, and she retaliates by making a bookshelf fall on him. Well, he makes a run for it, leaping from the other window down to the floor and into the street. And both of us are going to go down. She's so hard. Uh, and she falls to the floor, unable to stop. my wolf but you got where are my bones where are my bones where are those get him get, get the sheep oh there's my bones I miss third wolfie. Oh, you're just stone. You were just stone the thing. Okay. I need a name tag. Yes, sir.
Yo, don't go in the don't. <laughs> No, don't attack him. Don't attack him. He's going to be one of our friends. Oh, 
a couple of wolves. I need more. I'm gonna make like a little, little thing. Yo, is that a Grim Reaper? This is Grim Get him. Get him. Why are y'all not attacking him? Attack. Fine, I'll get myself. Wow. Back to the phone. Yo, for sure, I got a puppy. I got a puppy, for sure. Yo, how am I gonna tame this dude? There we go. Come on. Yo, oh, I thought one of them got me. Come on, guys, let's go. Come on, get him. I do not regret this idea. I love these wolves. Yes. Let's go, bro. Yo, yo. No, no, don't shoot him. Don't shoot him. No. Yeah, dance on is great. Dance on is great. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, don't worry about this. In dear memory of yours, when you feel it, I got a long breath and more air in my chest. I'm obsessed with the sounds I ingest. I'm looking for all my sound and now it's just a magic number. Hey, 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 they won't let me go. I said, no more puppy shows. No, no, no more puppy shows.
but he doesn't know that I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Re I think my character would look better if I were a block character, you know? Because, like, you know, I, um, I play a game where I'm a block character, and I, uh, I just, I, I'm, I, I just look better when I'm, like, block, so... I have small head. <laughs> Wait, I don't, I don't see the difference. Uh, oh. Oh. Okay, I see the difference now. I don't lock up the stuff. Y'all too busy on the internet to look at the stars. From the city where your close friends is plotting against you. From the city of the purple sprite, but I just drink liquor. And the city swinging handy in the back of my homie Civic. Flow off instrumentals, now the shit is a business. Hey, I got something to say. The good don't last forever. Got a taste, but never getting complacent. Twist the tree, hit the mic, I'm illustrating my lifetime. Food for thought, shorty, call me up when it's nighttime. Yeah, she love the way I spit this shit. Bring it all together like Pangea. Uh, yeah. Won't sell my soul for my name to be known. They hand the checks and telling me sign here. Yeah. Think about it now. Hey, think about that shit. We get a pop and shorty just like this. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Just think about that shit. We get a pop and shorty just like this. Now I'm gone. Huh? Yes, sir. Still a gifted from the soul end. Rolling from the potent flow smoother than the ocean. Some bad mistakes still chosen. Mama never stressed, stay living. Still I stay connected to my ass. The legendary seven walking heaven as a legend. Couple bad blessings progressing from every lesson. Still I hope you choose to be the rest you got. Recognize my youth while I resurrect the food and blue and get your soul gifted for the crew. And I'm only spitting knowledge like I got a wisdom to. I be some wisdom for you. I be some wisdom for you. Who are you talking to, bro? Who are you talking to? Spiritual free fall, so I turned to earth to meditate. 
Shut the coping skill, I learned to meditate. I got my baby girl, she down for me. Best way, I'm going with the flow with no loyalty just to demonstrate. Cause even when it's raining, you bet that they better date. Surrounded when the settings great, my bed is made. Refuse to rest until I get the cake. I channel so much feelings that I'm writing that this pencil aches. I want to keep it, don't possess the key mental state. I'm trying to be the best, others progressing at a lesser rate. I touch a soul with my flows, just let it resonate. Digest the words I'm saying, I want everyone to get a plate. Move forward, let go, all of your regret and hate. Don't have to seek revenge, and there won't be a score to settle straight. This life's an MF, but I ain't talking metal face. However, they're all villains wishing doom on every step. Bro, stop spawning me here. The worst place to spawn, bro. Yo, what's the... Let's do something good, bro. Yes, sir. Oh. Whoa. Oh, what's a pick? What's a pick? What's a pick?
the wizard. And if I die, at least I'll never have to play this again. Alright, guys. I'm in the video here. Hope you guys have an awesome day. See you later in the next video. Like and subscribe. Hit that notification so you know when I post another video. Have an awesome day.